I'm Kelly with Waterfall Woodworking and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable wooden Christmas trees that'll be the perfect addition to your holiday decor. I started by finding an image of a tree I liked on Google and printed that out in two different sizes. I then cut out the paper trees and began measuring to decide how to cut my plywood. For this project I'm using 3 quarter inch plywood. You can make your trees as big or as small as you would like. I went with 10 inches for my tall trees and 7 and a half inches for my smaller trees. I then went over to my table saw and made my cuts. Once everything was cut to size, I traced the paper tree onto one of my pieces of wood. You can use a couple different tools to cut these out. Here I'm using my jigsaw. It's super easy to clamp your wood to a workbench and then cut these out. And that easily, you have a wooden tree. Then I used that first tree to trace the rest of them on the wood. This is much easier than the paper. I also wanted to make regular triangle trees. So for that, I marked the center of my wood and used a straight edge to connect that center mark to the corners. These are extremely easy to cut out. From there, just continue cutting out the trees in both sizes until you have as many as you want. Another tool you can use to cut out these trees if you have one is a bandsaw. I love my bandsaw and prefer this tool for projects like this. I think it provides a cleaner cut and is a bit easier for me to use. The great thing about projects like these is you can use whatever you have. After all the trees were cut out, I wanted to make little bases, trunks if you will, so they won't tip over. I took my leftover pieces of plywood and measured how big I wanted them to be and cut them to size. I then gave everything a light sanding with my orbital sander and 220 grit sandpaper. I hand sanded the sides of the trees and slightly smoothed out the sharp edges and corners. All right, so now it's time to attach the base of the Christmas tree to the actual Christmas tree itself. For that, I'm going to be using some DAP Rapid Fuse glue. This stuff dries instantly. It's like CA glue. It dries within 30 seconds. Super great for bonding things together. This glue is great. You just need a few drops, wait a few seconds, and it's dried and secured just like that. All right, so after all your Christmas trees are assembled and all your wood is cut, you might have a lot of extra cutoffs that look like this. So you can just attach bases to these and you have some other Christmas trees, but I'm gonna show you how to make another Christmas tree, a bonus Christmas tree out of the scrap wood from these trees. For these bonus trees, I used that same DAP Rapid Fuse glue to glue two pieces together to create a big triangle. I then took two more pieces and attached those in the center on both sides of the triangle. And there you have a few extra trees made out of all your scrap wood. Now let's finish these trees. I cleaned off my workbench making sure to vacuum up all dust and wipe down my trees to remove any sawdust. To finish these trees, I decided to go with three different color options, golden oak and honey from Varathane and a nice sage green paint. I love how these stains in the paint turned out. I used light brush strokes with the green paint so some of the wood grain would still show through. I think these colors add the perfect, more modern twist on traditional holiday colors and decor. I also just love having pops of more natural wood colors in all my decorations. Now time to decorate. I absolutely love how these turned out. They are super cute and the perfect addition to my holiday decor. These were super easy and cheap to make. Let me know if you make them too. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more easy, fun, DIY, and woodworking videos, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.